So Kiki and I were planning a trip to Hyatt Lake, which is a kind of a cross country, not really an established trail sort of trip. And everything we'd read said that the road up here was kind of rough. Uh, high clearance vehicles recommended. I drive a Subaru Crosstrek, which has, you know, eight and a half to nine inches of clearance. So I thought we'd be fine, but we have hit a snag. So we're at the Cherry Creek crossing and I'm just not sure that the cross track's gonna make it through. Even, even where we are now was pretty sketchy, just trying to get the car down here. So I think what we're gonna do is leave the car where it is and this will add about five or six miles to our trip, uh, one way. So 10 to 12 miles total. The whole trip was only supposed to be about 13 miles, but now we've got roughly six miles to walk until we get to the trailhead we were gonna park at and then uh, six miles into the lake. But it's early enough in the day, I think we'll be fine. Uh, we should probably hit camp somewhere around six o'clock tonight, 6.30 maybe. It's all part of the adventure. Got the car parked and all locked up and uh, we're ready to head out. I think what we're gonna do is just follow the road until we see the trailhead sign and then figure it out from there. <laughs> I marked the location of the car on the map out app in my phone. So I'll be able to find my way back here without too much hassle. Let's see how this goes. So we're maybe uh, two or 300 yards from where I parked the car. And uh, there was no way I could have driven up here. So if you plan on coming out this way, heed the warnings about a high clearance four wheel drive vehicle. Because even with the all wheel drive and the eight or nine inches that I have on my cross track, there's no way we were getting up this hill in the car. So we've been moving for about an hour and we've gone a little over a mile. So we're making good time. I'm a little bummed. Uh, <laughs> there was just that half a mile section, maybe less, maybe, maybe a little more, but probably less of really rough road right past the creek crossing. And if I could have gotten through that with the car, I could have driven the whole rest of the way, but is what it is and you know i enjoy walking in the woods and so far this has been a pretty pleasant little walk in the woods So we have been walking about an hour and a half, maybe a little more. We've gone just under four miles. Kiki just found us this gorgeous little creek, so we decided to stop and hydrate and get some calories in us. Kiki took a little swim, <laughs> but uh, moving along, pretty good clip. Um, it's it's. It doesn't feel like we're walking on a fire road. The, the forest is pretty dense. There's a lot of things to look at and a lot of beautiful things to see. So it just feels like we're hiking. This is not the worst thing that's ever happened. So there must be an easier road to get in here based on some of the traffic that's passed us in the last two or three minutes. Uh, there's no way some of these cars came in the way we tried to. So, my suspicion is the Google directions that all trails give you are terrible and that there's an easier, more accessible road. 
Live and learn. So we got these mama cows up here that don't want to let us pass. Uh, I honestly don't know what to do. We're pretty close to the actual trailhead where we were supposed to start the hike, but I'm not about to get trampled to death by cows. Well, after some tough negotiations, we got the cows to give us a pass. Uh, we're still not at the trailhead we were supposed to start at. I don't see us making the lake tonight. So plan B is walk until we find water and set up camp. Well, we found the trailhead and there are a ton of cars up here. There's gotta be another way to drive up here. I'm an idiot. So we've been trucking along what's essentially a use trail for a little while now. And uh, all I'm looking for is just water and a flat spot to put the tent. Walking here from the car was a mistake. Uh, I trusted the directions that I got through all trails and what I should have done is looked at a map and found my own way. But we're hiking. <laughs> It's not terrible, but we're both pretty exhausted and I think getting out of here tomorrow is going to suck. So I planned this trip based on another YouTube channel that I watch and enjoy, the uh, Waterfall Madman. And when he was out here, there was this huge rushing creek and, and multiple waterfalls. And right now, everything's pretty dry. Like we found this little pond of water. We're still not at the lake, but this is the first water we've seen since uh, since that creek, and that was three hours ago. So we ran out of water probably an hour ago. So we're gonna hang out here for a while and load up, rehydrate, probably eat some food, uh, and then make the decision, you know, whether we're just gonna stay here and use this as our water source or push on towards the lake. Seems like all the other hikers we've seen are headed towards the lake. So this might be home for the night. I don't know yet. I'm thirsty. So it's about seven p.m. And near as I can figure, Hyatt Lake is another two and a half miles. I'm exhausted, Kiki's exhausted. We're just gonna stay at this little pond tonight. Sometimes things don't work out the way you plan.
Today was a hard day, and it was mostly due to a mistake on my part. There are dozens of Forest Service roads out here, and I should have known that more than one of them would get me where I needed to be. I get kind of bullheaded sometimes, especially when I'm hiking, and, you know, more miles, more miles, more miles, that always sounds good. But honestly, now that camp is set up and my dinner is going to be ready soon, I don't really care. We've got a beautiful little campsite. It's going to be a gorgeous night. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Tomorrow is going to be rough again, but I think I have a good plan set up for that. I'm going to carry more water for sure. Uh, we drank two liters a piece on the way up here, so I'm going to carry enough for two and a half liters each to get us to the creek and then I'll load up again at the creek and uh, I think we'll just take it slow just take it casual and we'll get home when we get home Good morning. I think the plan for today is just to kind of hang out here at this gorgeous little campsite, soak in as much of this as we can, and then uh, start the big hike back to the car. <laughs> Well, we're all packed up and ready to go. Just gonna take it slow. I'm carrying quite a bit of extra water just to get us to that little creek that we found yesterday. So, pack's a little heavier. We got a lot of up. Just cruise along, take it slow, enjoy the day. We're back at the trailhead where the car should be. <laughs> Just gonna have some water here, get some calories, and then uh, start the long road walk back down to the car. So we just talked to a guy 
who's out here driving around on his little uh, four-wheeler. And he told me about a different trail that might get us to the car faster. Uh, after some considerable <laughs> internal debate, I decided we're just gonna stick with the GPS track we made yesterday. I know that gets us back to the car because I was live tracking it as we were walking. So I know for sure that gets us back to the car. And it just didn't seem worth the risk to try this other trail, potentially get lost, just to save a couple of minutes. However, in talking to him, I also learned which road I should have driven up. So if we ever decide to do this trip again, we'll be able to uh, just drive up to the trailhead and do the hike that we intended to do. So that's a win. I'll take it. So we're back at the creek that Kiki found for us yesterday, which puts us at about two miles from the car. So we're doing really good on time. Uh, I had put us here about an hour from now, so we're doing really good. A lot easier hiking on the way down. It's all downhill. There's a couple little sections of up, but the vast majority of the trip today has just been down, down, down. So moving a lot faster than we anticipated. <laughs> 